this video, we want to explore this problem. A5 doesn't have a subgroup of order 30. First of all, what is A5? We know A5 is an alternating group, a group of even permutations of the group S5. S5 is the group of all uh, permutations with five elements. Okay. A5 is generated by a 5 cycle and a 3 cycle. Of course, it has other generators too. S5 is generated by a 5 cycle and a 2 cycle. Okay. Uh, I want to explore uh, the types of cycles we have in A5. In order to do that, first I have to recognize um, what types of cycles we have in S5. Okay. Okay. First of all, we have uh, a cycle of the form, not a cycle, we have some cycles of the form A, B, C, D, E. Okay, five cycle. Um, we have 24 of them. What else? We can have A, B, C, D, a four cycle. The cycle fixes one element. We can have A, B, C. Uh, what does this cycle do? Uh, well, this cycle fixes two elements. We can have this to A, B, C, D, E. Okay. What else can we have? We can have A, B, a two cycle. It fixes mm, three elements. We can have A, B, C, D. So it means A goes to B and B goes to A, C goes to D and D goes to C. Okay. What else do we have? Okay, let me clear this board. I have solved this problem, but I want to solve it again. So it was um, an answer to this problem. Okay, let me. It just takes me a long time to erase all this. Okay. Cool. So. Uh, and we have a zero cycle, our identity element. Okay. Uh, these are all the cycles we have. Okay. Um, I want to explore which of them belong to A5. Okay. As I said, A5 is uh, the group of all even permutations. What are even permutations? Even permutations are those uh, that can be factored into even, transposi even transpositions, okay? And for example, this first cycle, our five cycles belong to A5, okay? You can say this belongs to A5 because as we know, a cycle uh, which, has a, which has an even length um, can be factored into even number of transpositions. So it belongs to A5. What about uh, the other one, a 4 cycle? It doesn't belong to A4 because it cannot be factored. It doesn't belong to A5 because it cannot be factored into um, even number of transpositions. What about this guy? A, B, C. It can be factored into even number of transpositions so it belongs to a5 what about the other guy so uh, a b c okay what is a a b c can it be factored as i said because it has uh, um, an odd length it can be factored into even number of transpositions okay and how is it so a b a c as you see a goes to b 
And what does B go to? For example, first, in the first transposition, B goes to A. In the second one, A goes to C. So B goes to C. What about C? Uh, C goes to A. That's correct. Okay. So this three cycle can be factored into um, two transpositions. And this is another transposition, DE. So um, this cycle, A, B, C, D, E, it can be factored into three transpositions, which is uh, not even, so it doesn't belong to A5. What about this one, a two cycle? Because it's just one transposition, it doesn't belong to A5. But the other one, product of two cycles, it belongs to A5. And uh, then we have uh, a zero cycle, this one. It can be factored into zero transpositions. Okay. And I want to say something. Uh, you can check that it is true. And what is that thing? A5, A5 is generated by all three cycles cycles okay that's it now move back to our question we want to prove we don't have a subgroup of order 30 that's it right let's assume h is a subgroup of a5 of order 30 okay because h is a proper subgroup it doesn't belong to a5 so it cannot contain all the three cycles okay so there is a three cycle so there exists a three cycle which does not belong to h okay now Uh, we know a way of partitioning a group is by cosets, okay? We have a few cosets like h, sigma h, sigma squared h, okay? And as we know, the cardinality of them are equal. So it means they all have the same number of elements, okay? Uh, I have to say, these uh, cosets are not disjoint. Why? Because it, if they were disjoint, then we would have 90 elements because these partition the group, these cosets, okay? So uh, they definitely intersect. So there are three possibilities. I want to explore all the possibilities. First, let me clear this board. First case, H and sigma H have an intersection. So there is an element H in their intersection. Okay. What does it mean? So H belongs to sigma H2. So, uh, there exists an element like H1 in H such that H is equal to sigma H1. So, because H is a group, okay? So we can have H times H1 inverse is equal to sigma. 
We know this guy. It belongs to H. So sigma must belong to H. So there is a contradiction. We assumed sigma doesn't belong to H. Next case. Like uh, H and sigma squared H have an intersection. So there is an H in their intersection. What does it mean? So H belongs to, H is an element of H. It belongs to sigma squared H. So there is there exists an element like H2 such, such that H uh, is equal to sigma squared H2. We have H times H2 inverse is equal to sigma squared. It's this element right on the left side belongs to H. So sigma squared belongs to H. Sigma is a three cycle and we know three cycles have order three. So sigma three, sigma um, cubed equals one. It means sigma times sigma squared equals one. So it means sigma squared has an inverse, which is sigma. Because H is a group, we can conclude sigma belongs to H. And again, we have a contradiction. Another case, our third case. H, sigma H and sigma squared H have an intersection. So there is an element sigma H which belongs to their intersection. What does it mean? It means sigma H belongs to sigma squared H. So it means there exists an element H3 in H such that sigma h is equal to sigma squared h3. Uh, in groups, we have okay, left cancellation law, so we can have h is equal to sigma h3. And again, we have a group, so h times h3 inverse equals to sigma, which means sigma belongs to h. And again, we have a contradiction. So A5 doesn't have any subgroup of order. Sorry. 